Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Me and Jasmine just woke up. And before we even get our breakfast, before we drink our coffee, before we even get started on our day, what are we doing, babe? We're going to roast each other. Well, actually, hold the camera, please. No, babe. Roasting each other would mean you roast me and I roast you. That's the concept of roasting each other. But today, I'm the only one getting roasted. So no, we're not roasting each other. We woke up today and Jasmine chose violence and she is roasting me on social media, posting it on TikTok. And we're gonna give you guys the behind the scenes. So there's this trend going around on TikTok where you find a picture of what your significant other looks like. So this is mine. Okay, <laughs> babe, I don't freaking look like the Fruit Loops guy. <laughs> Do I? Um, what feature looks like him? I don't know. I really, maybe the color blue, maybe the eyes are really big. I don't know. Babe, just say it. I think maybe the eyes. It's definitely not, <laughs> definitely not the eyes. I think it might be. Hmm. Let me take a wild guess what me and that fucking toucan have in common. Maybe it's the nose. I don't know. I don't know. What else do me and this fucking toucan from Fruit Loops have in common? Okay, so before me and Jasmine record our TikTok, let me show you guys an example of the trend going around just so it makes more sense to you guys. Um, here was a funny one. So one of the partners holds the phone up, shows the lock screen, and it's supposed to be what their partner looks like. So he's saying that she looks like Chucky. Look, watch, watch. Watch, he's gonna hold his phone up, show a picture of Chucky. That's supposedly what his partner looks like, boom. <laughs> So that's the trend that's going around right now. That's what we're gonna do today. And my girlfriend thought it was a Don't drop act. my phone. And my girlfriend, Stop. you don't trust my hands? No, babe. I'm like Justin Jefferson, baby. I'm like Devonte Adams. My man. <laughs> and my girl thought it would be a good, funny TikTok idea to put the fucking toucan on her lock screen, and we're about to make that TikTok. Let's do it. Okay. Okay, wait, so you're gonna stand here. So let's do it like, so I'm gonna do it here. Okay, so it's like this. I don't know. Yeah, and then you swipe it and Which then way do I swipe it? That way? So I think it could be like you and it kind of far and like you bringing it closer. Everywhere I go, I keep a picture on the wall. The light. Yeah, just so it can see okay, you so far, and the phone. Yeah, and then I'll come in. I'll show my nose. Yeah. From that far. Okay, does it look big <laughs> like this? It really looks not big. It looks small. Babe, my nose is not like small. Okay, listen, listen. Guys, guys, guys. I know Jasmine's my girlfriend. And she loves me. So her job is to always make me feel good. But babe. I have such a beautiful nose. But babe, listen, listen. You can tell me I have a small nose as much as you want to try to make me feel good. And I will still know you're a fucking liar. <laughs> But but I do no, I'm not. but I do appreciate you trying to make me feel good about my nose. But hey, thank God there's always this place called Turkey. You go there, you get your nose fixed up and shit. Okay, babe, are you ready to make the TikTok? Yes, let's go. Are you ready to roast me on the internet? Yes. Are you ready to let everyone know that I look like a toucan bird? Yes. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Is it bad that I like getting roasted? But so I should, okay. Okay, babe, did we do it good? I think we did it pretty good. Was that good? I think it was good. So post that one? Yeah. Dude, is our love language roasting each other? I, I think it is. Like, for example, why am I so happy that we're posting a TikTok that you're saying that I look like a bird? Why am I so happy? Like, I'm smiling, laughing. A like, hot bird. A hot bird. A hot bird. Okay, now that we got the TikTok out the way, you know, we sort of got our work done. Can we go get some breakfast? Please. Okay, let's, let's go. go. Let's, let's go, go, guys. guys. <laughs> Okay guys, so every morning when me and Jasmine wake up, we get into the world's biggest argument. I like to call it World War III. Yeah. Every time we have to decide what we're gonna have for breakfast, it's literally a, a, a war because <laughs> Jasmine is very healthy, babe. What do you like to have for breakfast? Okay, so when I wake up in the morning, I'm not that hungry. I could go for like some fruit, a smoothie, an acai bowl. So I like more healthier breakfast items. I don't have like a big appetite in the morning, but he on the other hand wakes up 
starving, so hungry, he could eat, I tell you, I, he could eat a burrito, he could eat a burger, he could eat eggs, pancakes, waffles, he could eat all that in one meal, separate foods. <laughs> Like you'll eat anything anything in front of him. He'll eat it And this is where World War three starts pretty much. It's the war of unhealthy versus healthy because Jasmine will be like Okay, babe, it's breakfast time. You want to go grab some <clears throat> fruit and, uh, and and a smoothie and I look at her. I'm like she I tell her what? I'm like that's like an appetizer maybe like a side but where's the real food like yeah I'm down to get some fruit and and some coffee and and maybe an acai bowl but that's just to start where's my breakfast burrito my burger my freaking my french fries <laughs> my 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 omelet and she goes babe the meal is the fruit and the smoothie and the acai bowl and I'm like no, I no, get no. full from that but he could eat like okay like but babe, real big meals every babe, single hour in a relationship there's compromise yeah you know? I do a lot of compromising I just would like to say that <laughs> <laughs> You do a lot of compromising. Okay, my do. name might as well be Jasmine. Oh no! I'm not done. No. My name might as well be Jasmine Morales because I don't even live my life for Brandon anymore. I live for Jasmine. No. So you do compromise. Where are we then? Where are we? Where are we then? We're about to have breakfast f***ing burritos. Exactly. So my name is Compromise. Your name is Brandon Awadi. But you know why we're gonna have breakfast burrito? Because we always do what you want. Okay? No, you so want for a breakfast once, burrito. So for <laughs> once in my life, for once in my life, yes, I drag Jasmine to a f***ing taco shop, and yeah, I'm forcing her to eat a, a, a breakfast burrito. Okay? Because every other day we have the acai bowl. No, and then we have the fruit. We have the okay, smoothies. Okay, listen. And then I'm sick of this life. No, and then we get happy the, wife, hey. happy life. F that i'm done with okay. it okay let's calm it down no i'm done we always do what you want i'm getting oh, my breakfast burrito stress. okay no and i'm not sharing <laughs> they bring the camera down today is brandon's day Can you every day is brandon's day hell no it yes, is yes it not. is yes it is no it is not finally we're doing what the boyfriend wants and not what my girlfriend wants just keep walking. We've been, we've been dating Guys, for comment down below if he talks so much. Please, I need help. I'm not done talking. <laughs> we've been dating for a year. And we always go by the happy wife, happy life. You know what? <laughs> January 28th, 27th, 26th, whatever day today is, it all comes to an end. I'm starting a new one. Happy man. Happy. It doesn't make, it doesn't work that way. Though. Happy man. Fuck. Ha ha. Happy. Either way, we're, husband, either way, happy. I'm making, I'm starting a petition, I'm starting a trend. No more doing what the girlfriend wants. Men rule. We're doing what the guy wants. I'm sick of this. Nope. So we're here at a taco shop, and we are going to get breakfast burritos. Taco shop vibes. We got our chips, salsa. Jasmine loves a bunch of different salsas. So, and then we got our breakfast burrito. Oh my god, that looks so fire. What we put in our breakfast burrito is egg, ham, cheese, potato, and sour cream. You ready to eat? Mm -hmm. Okay guys, so since for breakfast we got to do what I want, we got a burrito. Like I said, relationships come with a lot of compromise. So now that I did eat my burrito, it's time to give Jasmine what she wants. And if you guys know Jasmine, then you know, what's your favorite thing to do? Home decor shop, furniture, decorating the house, interior design. So now we're at a furniture store. Didn't you want to be an interior designer? Yeah, I do want to be an interior designer, but now I don't need to be because I can just do it for you. You're my personal interior designer. Yeah. So for those who don't know, I moved into my own home a little while ago and I'm not too good at putting furniture in the house. I don't have that creative vision that Jasmine does. So I lean on Jasmine whenever we come to furniture stores. I'm like, you know what, babe, take it away. Whatever you see that you like, I trust you setting up my house. Okay, here, this is what I like to say. I bought the house, I paid for the house, but it's Jasmine's job to turn it from a house into a home. Oh, it's like my that. wife's job to turn my house into, into a, a home. A home. I so, can do that, honey. as oh much as. Oh my god, it's so, it's so pretty in here already. <laughs> <laughs> so, as much as I hate furniture shopping, I Jasmine. I love furniture shopping. It's like when you watch the suns, it, that's how I get about furniture shopping. It's so, so, you're hard right now? I'm yeah, joking. I don't I even know why I said that. Okay, babe. So, since you came with me to eat what I wanted for breakfast, compromise, it's time for me to come with you to furniture shop. Let's see what Jasmine is up to. Babe, have you seen anything that you like? Yes. Yes? I yeah. I really like uh, this couch over here. A couch? Let's see. I really like this couch. 
I really like this couch. It's so cute. This one? It has like one. couple places where we need like another couch. Okay, there's a living room where you like sit and like everyone can sit there, watch TV. If the couch gets like messy, it's like fine. But then the, he has another room where like it's just like really nice couches that nobody can sit on, nobody can eat on, nobody can touch. It's just for well, looks. Test it out. Let's see if it's, it's comfy. Is it for looks? Is it comfy? It is comfy. It is? It actually is comfy. <laughs> well, let's see. Is the price doable? Um, yeah, maybe it's time to keep looking for a different couch. I'm this joking. Couch is kind of cool, like actually. For this the, couch for the front room when you walk into the house. Like this couch is huge. Maybe if we have like eight kids in the future, we'll we get that couch. Huh? Future. We are gonna have eight kids. Okay, I was thinking more like two or three. I was um, thinking eight. Maybe you could do the other five with somebody else. Cause <laughs> sorry, I don't even know why I said that. Do you ever like? you say something or like you think of something to say and then it seems like it's gonna be funny it seems like a good idea to say but then it comes out of your mouth you actually say it out loud and then you're just like wait f why did i say that it's, it just sounds way more stupid than it did in your head in your head it sounded like a good idea to say but then you say it and you're just like i'm so dumb why did that come out of my mouth I like this, babe. This you like that this table's cute i really want to make a i'm telling you i really want to make a beauty room with like a vanity like huge lights and like a desk with all my makeup in it because i really want to make like makeup tiktoks so your dream is to have a beauty room in my house yeah i really do want to have a beauty room in your house well babe we got to save the bedrooms for our future kids but i really do want to have a beauty room and like i can have like music in there with my speaker loud getting ready <gasps> oh and then i can like put like a little bookshelf with like chairs or like a couch in there so i can like lay in there and read while you do whatever you do Okay guys, so we came into the furniture store just to look, browse around. We didn't think we were actually gonna buy anything, but we might have found something. So take a look at these. Okay, these right here are stools for the island. Babe, can you get a close-up? I think so, they're so pretty. I've actually been looking for bar stools or counter stools for my house because if you know if you know my house, I have like the nice big island, but I don't have any chairs in front of it. So we've been looking for these and we found a pair. I think these three would go perfect in my house it was between these three right here or these ones which is a similar vibe but way darker these mm -hmm. ones are like a charcoal gray so um, i think this one's brandon this one's jasmine so who wins <laughs> yeah guys okay. i can't decide i like the charcoal but i also like the white so when you're 50 50 on a decision that's when you go to the that's girlfriend go to the interior designer girlfriend okay so this is my logic i like both but I like the white more just because white is cleaner. It goes more with the aesthetic. So we have the same exact dining table set, the materials, so that way it matches and everything flows seamlessly throughout the kitchen. So ultimately what you're trying to say is get this out the way and go with the white. Yeah, white's just clean, classic, simple. So this is why you need a jasmine in your life. Cause I'm not gonna lie, babe, if you weren't here, I would have definitely went with the dark gray ones. Really? For sure, yeah. Do you like them better? If you like it, get it. That's fair enough. Nah, you know, you know more than me. Just like you, if you have a question about basketball, you're that's gonna come fair. to me. So that's like me. If I have a question about home decor or furniture, I'm gonna come to you and I'm gonna trust you. Yeah. That's probably the only time I trust you. Get out. When in doubt, call Papa Rug. <laughs> <laughs> My dad is always there for me no matter what, bro. I love him. Babe, can you record so I can help him load it, please? Yeah. Thank you. See how happy these really are. Oh, they're not bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're, they're bad. Nice. Yeah, do you want to say what's up to a vlog? What vlog? <laughs> <laughs> this vlog. Oh, you're vlogging? Hi, how are you? How are you doing, guys? Thanks for pulling up. Oh, no problem. Anytime. Uh -huh. Okay, well, let's move them to the house. Yeah. Okay, let's go, guys. Okay, guys, so we're back to my house. And like I mentioned, I moved here a while ago. So I got my family room taken care of. Look over here, babe. We got this area all furnished. We got the coffee table right there. We got a couch over here. We also have my kitchen area done. We got dining table, chairs. And guys, I actually love the way everything came together. I love the way everything in my house looks, but I feel like it's just missing one thing. Some bar stools, some counter stools that would go right here. So let's go bring these chairs in and see how they sit.
<laughs> Jasmine hates when I sing that song. Do you know that TikTok trend? Make, make me sweat. sweat. Make, make me hot. He does. Oh no, he knows it. <laughs> Moment of the truth. Perfect. Oh, <gasps> no perfect. way. Those Wait. look so good. <gasps> they carved together. Wait, this is so sick. I love it. It looks so different in the house. Babe, come look back here. Babe, these look. <laughs> Shout out to my girlfriend for picking these out. These actually look so sick. I love them. And you're right, babe. The charcoal ones, the gray, the dark ones, it would just be way too dark. The white looks way better. It looks really They're good. Very nice. Do you like it? Yeah. Dad, thank you for helping. Yeah, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Wow, this actually makes the kitchen come together. Now the kitchen is done. Now the kitchen is officially done and ready. Let's go. Babe, that actually came out so sick. Guys, we were pretty limited. Usually when we had guests over and we had food, there would only be four spots for people to sit right here at the table because, you know, you don't usually want your guests to sit and eat on the couch and, you know, over here. So we would be like, yo, four people max, you got to eat your food over here. But now we got three extra seats and babe, it really makes the kitchen. It looks so good. It makes the kitchen really come together. And now we just got more options for people to sit and just, it just looks way better, babe. I love it. I know, I love it too. Now, while I cook, you can be here like on your computer doing work while I cook and it's just like nice. Yeah, Jasmine will be cooking over there and I can get a, I can get a closer view of her instead of sitting all the way back there. So I love it. The mouth. I love how it came out it it was the vision i had it completed it now the kitchen is complete successful trip wise words from my personal interior designer dating you is like an investment babe you're my personal interior designer so i don't have to pay for one you're my personal dentist you take the x-rays of my teeth so i don't have to pay for my checkups anymore so i love you and there's a lot more i do but we can't say all of them we can't reveal all the secrets not like that like actually babe babe. my girlfriend's tripping right now <laughs> my girlfriend's on one right now holy shit. wrong website honey this is youtube Guys, I'm actually really proud of the way that my house turned out because when I first moved in here, when I first bought this house, it did not look like this. When I tell you guys, we did a lot of remodeling, a lot of construction. This house did not look like this. You know what? Just to give you guys a better visual, I'm gonna give you a before and after. So the clip you're about to watch is what this area of the house looked like when I first bought the house. I feel like brown is very, it's very outdated. I don't want that. I want more of a modern look. This right here, obviously I don't have a couch yet, but there's gonna be a couch over here. There's gonna be a big TV right here. Compared to what it looks like now, bro, this is a night and day difference. No more brown, no more wood, none of that old school look. It's very, very modern now with new furniture and new floors and just everything different. It looks like a brand new home. It doesn't even look like the same house that I bought. But now, now I wanna give you guys a before and after of this side too so look check this out like i said when i first bought this house we had to do a lot of work to it a lot of remodeling so check out what this area looked like when i first bought the house the kitchen and then the dining table right over here for us to eat again compared to what it looks like now boom baby it's such a big difference and it doesn't look like we just remodeled the kitchen it looks like i'm showing you two different houses two different kitchens from two different houses bro but guys before we move on to the next part of this vlog i just want to get into a little bit of detail of just how crazy this kitchen transformation was because bro just just watch this guys guys so the backsplash this all this, this whole design along the wall of the kitchen. This was not like this when I first bought the house. It was way different. I'm about to show you guys a clip of what this backsplash was when I first moved in. And I just want you guys to see how big of an upgrade this is. This is the kitchen. We have the stove over here. We have six different... Come on, man. You can't tell me this new backsplash over here isn't a million times nicer than what it was when I first bought the house. Oh, wait. It's not just the backsplash. So that's my dining table. Right above the dining table, there's this old-looking chandelier. So this chandelier that you see right here, this did not come with the house. They had a different chandelier hanging above the dining table. Very old-school... 
This is the new chandelier that I upgraded to. I like this a million times more, bro. It just looks way more modern. And also all the blinds that you see covering the windows, these are motorized blinds. These were not here when I first bought the house. I had to get them all installed. Look, these are actually really sick. Let me show you how they work. Watch this. They're all controlled by this remote. One, two. Watch this. Look at this, man. So sick. Everything goes up just with the click of a button. Look at this. Everything in my kitchen and living room goes up, all with the easy click of a button. When I first bought the house, these blinds were not here. There was no motorized blinds. I had to get these installed myself. When I first got the crib, it was like these brown, um, like curtains. Uh, um, just like really old school, just hanging curtains. I don't know how to explain it. Let me just show you guys a clip of what it looked like when I first got the house. But it definitely wasn't these motorized blinds, I'll tell you that much. These motorized blinds that I got installed, way better than those old looking brown curtains, you know what I mean? Also, let's not forget all these cabinets, they weren't dark like you see them right now. This color that we painted them is like a dark gray, like a charcoal color. But the kitchen, when I first bought the house, all of these were very old, they were very brown. You would never tell that this is the fridge, so I think it's dope, I think it's cool that the fridge is over here now compared to how we painted them bro this is so much better right now the kitchen looks so much more swaggy and so much more modern with these colored cabinets instead of those brown ones oh and then this island come on bro you think the island came like this hell no we had to get a whole new whole new granite top we had to freaking we redid this whole island it was it was like a brownish darkish color and i didn't really like it too much when i first bought the house let me show you what it looked like I didn't like how it looked too much when I first bought the house, so we definitely had to upgrade to something a lot more modern and just, I feel like this island right now just looks so much nicer. Bro, what a huge difference we made to this house. We literally did a complete makeover. We did a full remodel. I mean, bro, it looks so different from the first day I bought it to now, and I'm just so happy with how everything turned out, man. I just couldn't be more happy with how this house turned out. No more of that brown, old school look. All that old wood is all gone, and we've just turned this house a lot more modern, and I love it. I give it a 10 out of 10, and... I'm just in love with it. This is my forever home. This house right here is gonna be where I get married, raise a family, have kids, and I'm gonna live here for the rest of my life, man. Guys, comment down below if you think the house looked better when I first moved in, when I first bought it, or do you guys think it looks better now after all the remodel? My girlfriend's probably gonna kill me because I'm screaming in her ear while she's trying to go to sleep. But babe, do you like it before we remodeled or after? I love it after, it looks so good. Guys, comment down below and let me know what you think. Guys, you know how I know my girlfriend loves me? Babe, come here. This is how I know my girlfriend is in love with me. Dude, this girl just got my name tatted on her. Let me show you guys. Babe, I understand you love me, but getting my initial tattooed on you is crazy. Let me see. So Jasmine just got her nails done, Valentine's themed. You see all the little hearts on her nails, Valentine's themed. But do you guys notice something on her what finger? Ring fingers. On her ring fingers, there's a little initial. One here is a B. Other hand, ring finger, B. What does that stand for, babe? The B stands for Brandon. Oh, it's for you, babe. I got it for you. For that's Brandon. Se that's sexy. That's actually hot. I got it tatted. Now you gotta get my name tatted. Valentine's Day, the hearts. The Valentine's Day Brandon collab. Boyfriends, if your girl doesn't have your initial painted on her nails, don't love you. She okay. does not love you. I am in love with you. I actually really like the nails a lot for Valentine's Day. I got a Valentine's Day design so, you know, he could plan something for Valentine's Day. Okay, babe. It's getting pretty late right now. It's nighttime. It's like 8 p.m. And can you tell the vlog how we like to end all of our nights? We like to end our nights by going to the gym together. It's something we find very relaxing after a work day. So me and Jasmine like going to the gym together because number one, that's something we both have in common. We like to exercise. We like to work out. But another reason I like to go to the gym every single night before we go to bed is I feel like 
in today's generation, everybody our age, pretty much all day we're on our phones, we're checking social media, we're on TikTok, we're reading YouTube comments, and you know, we're just on social media all day. So when we go to the gym together, we kind of put our phones to the side. We don't really check our phones, we're off social media. So I just feel like us being at the gym together is not only getting a good workout in, but it's also spending quality time together away from our phones and kind of just getting our brain off of social media because sometimes social media could be really toxic it could no, be it is toxic <laughs> it is toxic it's it's really draining and it, it takes over your brain it takes over your day so i love the time we spend together at the gym where we unwind we relax and we spend time off social media and just spend quality time together so let's head over to the gym baby baby before we go to the gym can i get my little stretch I'm gonna need a stretch, bro. I'm gonna be playing a lot of basketball. Did you ever do this when you were a kid? Like this. Oh, the Superman. I loved that. That was fun. You did do it? Mm hmm. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> this is a deep stretch. I'm not that flexible. Holy. <laughs> oh, my. If I was this flexible, I would be going right now to play in the NBA, not at an LA fitness pickup game. You know what I mean? <laughs> I have the best girlfriend in the world, man. <laughs> Stretching me out before the gym so I could have a good workout. I love you, babe. I love you, too. Okay, time to hit the gym? Yeah, let's go. You look really good right now. Like, your makeup looks super good. You in all black just hits different. <laughs> your hair looks good. You look really good right now. Thanks, babe. I love you. You look good, too. It's like a haunted video. Make your, <laughs> make your sound. That's yeah, actually you, scary. You, you, look, you? you look like the girl from The Ring. One more. That's actually scary. <laughs> gym time, gym time, gym time, gym time. My favorite time of the day. You don't look too excited. I love going to the gym. Give me a smile then. This is how you smile. <laughs> okay, how, you how smile. do you smile? I smile like this. That's I, like, I always tilt my head, I don't know why. Like, this. But yours is so cute, I love yours, here you go. <laughs> workout time all right guys i am in my second home actually babe i think the house that we were in earlier that's my second home and then this is my first home would you agree i would agree with that you're here more than you spend time at your actual house i literally spend more hours in the gym than i spend in my own home but here's the sad part where we go our separate ways my girlfriend is gonna head over to what the treadmill Treadmill, stairs. Hey, please tell me you guys were holding it down in there for me. Oh, yeah. So we get to the gym. This is our time to split up. Jasmine hits the treadmill and the stairmaster, and I go in the basketball court. So, babe, have a good workout. You too. Love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. Gym is looking pretty packed. Let's get it. It's going to be some good runs. Get you guys some clips. Well, hopefully I get you guys some clips if I can make a bucket. You know me, I'm not a hooper hooper, but I'll try my best. Game winner, baby. Game winner. 
I got hot that game, bro. I got hot, scored a bunch of points, and hit the game winner. No better feeling. No better feeling than hitting that game winner and getting the other team off the court, sending the other team home. I love it. I love it. Let's go check on what Jasmine's doing right now. I think I see her. She's on the Stairmaster. I don't want to record other people, but there she is. Hi, babe. How's your workout? Ooh, all hot and sweaty and sexy. <laughs> Very hot and sweaty. How's the basketball? Good, I hit the game winner. Always. Love you. Have a good workout. I'm going to play some more. Oh, now my girl moved on to some abs. Whoo. Look at you go. Uh-huh. <laughs> Look at you go. Come up. If you get one more, you get a kiss. One more, you get a kiss. Oh. How's your workout? Kissing. How's your workout? Good. This is my last thing as. Babe, you want a real workout? Yeah. Do my outro while doing your abs. Oh my Tell God. Tell them to drop a what? Guys, drop a like. Guys. You guys heard her. Drop a like. And what else? Subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know what videos you guys want to see. And we're out. Peace. And we're out. Peace. Now, for real though, thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to this YouTube channel if you are new. Let me know if you guys want to see more vlogs. Other than that, it has been your boy, Brandon, a.k.a. Brawadis. And Jasmine. <laughs> and we're out. Peace.